Tefre Muto hoof it up forward. It's going to be a throw on the far side. Fungezi, both teams probably wanting to get the initiative. Wanting to make sure that they get to break the deadlock as quickly as possible. Big ball forward. Anyway, we'll do. July gets ready to get the throw for Dynamos. Mudadi is the option. Long ball forward by Makarati. Dynamos will connect via Chikona. Elton onto the far side is played. It's still Dynamos. Beautiful one touch football. But more to the rescue for the Ngezi Miners. Lovely touch. Beautiful turn. Onto the near side. Madaki. Madananga. Is a telepathic understanding whenever you see Madamburo passing the ball around. They know each other all too well. Dimbare now. Attempt from range by now. So Dynamos employing a twin defensive midfield pair in the form of Nyawa as well as um, Makunike, Mudadi, the top man in that midfield triangle. And then they've got Chintuli on the near side as well as Chikona as the top man headed away by Moyo. Goes out throw for Madame Buro. Madaki. Beautiful, neat one. The cross will come. Tafirimuta will do well and initiate the break attack. Keith. Rera. Lay on for Chikona. So near, so, so near. Elton was about to latch onto that one. Chajga will hit a long one forward. Amini will lay it on. Oh, it's a bit too much for the uh, young man there to keep in play. Probably wanting to do too many little rings there, if you ask me. The Zimbabwe Youth International. Madera. Yeah, we'll pick that one up for Dynamis, but the whistle had already gone. Wanted to take that one a little too quickly there, Dynamis. Stopped in their tracks. And here come Dynamos now. Should have taken the shot there. Really should have taken the shot.
throw from the near side. Madaki. Fungesi Platinum. Madananga. It's a little bit of a heavy touch there. Madera plays it well. Good high press there from Dynamis. Dynamo is coming through with Chintuli now on the near side. Nyawa. Good lay on for Chintuli. Neat little touch, but loads of grey shirts around. They'll block. Dynamo has come through a little bit too overcarried. Just a little bit overcarried there. Pofu, a bit of a short clearance is made. It's a long ball forward, no problem at all for Chajga. Good connection onto the far side is played. Kaderimen connects for Madamburu. Neat little touch into the middle of the park. Marvin Gaki doesn't control that too well. But still, Ngezi are probing. Beautiful touch by Nyawa. Dynamos have done well. Mudadi beats one man. A little bit over carry there, but they still regain possession. Chintuli, little touch. Tumpofu. Onto the far side. Getting to look for the vice captain, Jalai. He scored a crucial goal in Dynamo's resurgence in an away trip to ZPC Kariba. A solitary strike, getting Dynamo's the maximum points. Makarati keeping the rear safe as home. Moyo, his twin brother, normally plays in the left back position, not available for this encounter. And Gezi will come through with Gaki now. Beautiful lay on, it's a great chance. Tafira Namuta comes quickly off his line to stop that situation from getting worse. Makarati expecting a little touchback, but instead is taken by Makunike. Moyo coming in to assist with a manufacturing process for this move for Dynamos. Tafire Mutsa, Makarati, Makunike. Beautiful lofts. It's a bit overdone. A good switch intended from Pofu in the uh, left back position this afternoon for Dynamos. Touch back. Makunike picks up the pieces. Onto the far side, it's played. Madeira 
has possession now. Trying to make inroads. Wanting to go through the byline. But then it does. But the ball goes out. Went over the line. So it's got to be a goal kick. Wonderful run. Great run made there. Gaki beaten to the header by Mpofu. Still the ball for um, possession for um, Madame Budo. Gazi Platinum Stars. If it's got to happen, they're thinking it's got to be this year best placed to get to win the Castle Laga Premier Soccer League title for the very first time. Madeira keeps it in touch this time. But doesn't manage to get to play it to its intended destination. But Danango will peak it. Carves it through getting to find Madaki. It's a beautiful move on the near side. Lovely quick movement. Can the complimentary pass come through? Yes, it does. Mtigo doing beautiful work. Madananga plays it back. They're on the positive. But great, great movement there. Mukumba gets the return pass. And they'll just play it calmly. Ngezi doing so, so well. Dynamos, it's a great chance here. Yeah. Chicana just can't finish it off. Oh no. Can't pick up those spills. Mudadi and Chajga rescues Madame Boro. What a swift counter move there by Dynamos. So nearly could have been able to get that opener. But the omnipresence of Nelson Chajga. Has denied Dynamos a chance to open the scoring here. Still more pressure for Ngezi, but the far side assistant says that there was a bit of an illegal shove by. Chicona. Gaki on the near side. Tries to run rings around his marker. Clipped in his tracks. And it's got to be a free kick from Gezi Platinum Stars. It's to the right, and it highly favors the boot, the trusted boot of Kaderimin. He's a set piece taker par excellence, Kadi, and surely, surely should fancy his chances from this particular position. Let's see how it all pan out. There it is to the near post. Blocked. Cross will come. Class of heads and the medics have to make a quick dash onto the pitch. Still no all in this Castle Laga Premier Soccer League match day number 28 encounter at the National Sports Stadium. Current block leaders, Ngezi Platinum Stars being hosted by Dynamos.
Now it looks like um, he's still battling with the effects of that clash. The medics trying to make sure that he's very ready to return. So the action will continue. Long ball by Moyo onto the far side. Great thwart there by Ngezi. Gaki tucks inside. Amini getting ready to come up with the uh, cross. Mapoka will be the target man, the number 25 center striker. A cross will come. It's a little too heavy, but well dealt with by Moyo there. Throw comes from Adake. Madananga. Ah, oh, intelligent pass there. Block comes through. And it's going to be a corner kick. As expected, Kadram in. Set piece specialist will take it from Gezi. Not too threatening. Second part of the cherry falls for a min. And here's a long ball forward for Dynamos. Chiguida alleged to have uh, made an illegal shove on uh, Chikona. Daddy doesn't get the return pass, but hey, Chikona with a foot in there, but not having the power and precision as expected. Chajga, beautiful loft. Ntigo, Madananga, set up for Delik Murimba, but Tafiri Mutsa is there and guarding the Jadanamo's goal jealously. Pofu, beautiful touch, finding Chintuli, Tafire Mutsa, Moyo, he'll hoof it forward, but not as comfy, comfortably as you would have expected, and the ball go out to touch. Mukumba, lovely work, Mapoka, shot from Mapoka after the return pass came through from Delic Marimba are the twin centre striking force of Ngezi. They just suddenly come to life. Good combination play, good one-touch football. And they really 
mean business. Gaki on the far side. Lovely touch, a little header, but Makarati will deal with that one well. Mapoka, good lay on. Gets a little clip, looks like on his uh, thigh. And again, the medics have to dash on. Kadarimin getting ready to come up with the cross. Makarati uses his big frame to clear that one away. Chintuli does well. Makunika picks up and immediately gets the intention known. Madera not expecting that quick pass. Looks like. Mapoka, a bit of a too heavy touch he's made there. Lays it on for Murimba. Attempted shot from midway inside Dynamo's half. Makarati. Ah, oh, beautiful pass finding Yawa. And he compliments with another lovely pass. Dynamo still, but Mpofu not doing too good on the near side. On Tigger. Free kick it's got to be. Madaka to take. For the Platinum Miners. In fact, a clearance from Nyawa. Chikono, the beautiful turn. Madaki, great technical ability always displays on this flank. Makunike. Mudadi, still with possession. It's Tarnamus now. Madeira. Stopped in his tracks. Was it legal? From Mukumba there. Great turn. Gaki. The intention was to play it onto the near side. Nyawa. Makunike. So nearly had lost that one to Mapoka. Mpofu. Beautiful first touch there. Mudadi now with a chance. Makunike winning. Possession for Dynamo's in the middle of the park. Now a beautiful lay on from Pofu. Can he bring in the cross? It's much needed at this point in time. Dynamo's who opt for the short little touches. Makunike. Lofts onto the far side. Kadaramin equal to the task, but only temporarily as Dynamo's regain possession once again. They're enjoying the lion's share of it. Madeira. July. The cross will come, but the towering figures in the Ngezi rear will block that one. Moyo, Chigwida, Madananga. Anything in the air, they'll deal with it well. And here's Dynamo's now with a breakaway. Chigwana! 
two bites of the cherry, both blocked. Mudadi connecting well, beating one, beating two, and a shot. It's value for money that we're getting here at the National Sports Stadium. Dynamos with a barrage of attacks. Ngezi Platinum Stars. Resolute in defense. Not yielding at all. And this really is exciting stuff. My oh my. The best of Zimbabwean football and display here at the National Sports Stadium. And Dynamos with Madeira on the far side. Chikona, Mudadi. They really are marauding. But Ngezi unyielding. Nyawa doing well. Makunike mopping up. Mukumba. Madananga getting to find Madake. Ah, beautiful turn from the young man, formerly with Black Rhinos, now in the books of the miners. From being a soldier to a miner, Madake. <laughs> Look at that technique. Well, I probably it's a commentator's curse, isn't it? Probably overpraised them from my point, yeah. Still no all in this exciting game. All to play for for both teams. Ngezi knowing very much that three points today will be a bigger barrier created, bigger buffer created between them and Dynamos catching up. As for Dynamos, getting three points today will reduce the gap. Well, a ball boy who for the past 30 minutes or so has been refusing to move away from the back of the post has agreed to move away. Madake, long ball forward. Makarati does well for Dynamos. Another beautiful setup from Makunike. Finding July, Madeira, and now July clipped. Free kick for Dimbara in a very promising position. Dynamos will call upon the services of Makarati and Moyo, the two twin towers at the back. To try and add more steel. If we can put it across more height to this attack for Dimbari. So obviously that should come airborne. Let's see how it will work out for Dimbari. Now he's there. Looks like. He's earned himself a yellow card now. Very unnecessary that, if you ask me. Needs to concentrate on his game. Was being warned by the referee about something. Looks like he hasn't been adhering to sets of said instructions from the ref.
It looks like he's keeping on arguing now. I don't know what he wants to achieve by keeping on arguing with the referee. Mudadi to take it! Ngezi block. Nyawa. Round about turn to try and just get that one. And he doesn't manage. Goal kick for Dynamos, for Ngezi Platinum Stars, rather, after that Dynamos attack. Nyawa with a very powerful header. Well, he's an excellent player. Just don't know what got into his mind a few moments ago. Chikona <laughs> and Moyo just does. A little reverse heel to block that situation there. Nyawa. Oh, beautiful turn. But Mukumba reading that very well. Murimba assisting. The break is on, but well read by the near side assistant. That was a very intelligent move there from Ngezi Platinum Stars. Exuding their excellence and further reasserting themselves the position why they are at the top of the log standings. Really awesome. Beautiful touch there. Makunike. But Madananga will use everything he's got to make the block. Mapoka trying to use his frame to his advantage there. Makunike. Doesn't perfectly flight it onto the far side. Oh, he's been a master at that. But this time around, looks like the men in grey have read that one very, very well. Amini. Looks like he's playing the game of his life. He's had stints at Dalmos, he's had stints at Gunners. But looks like this time around, Amini is playing like a young boy. And here is Madeira on the far side. Yeah, the decision making was poor there. Take the volley shot or make the cross. July accused of clipping Mukumba. Free kick, it's gotta be for Madame Budo. Still no all in this uh, explosive encounter at the National Sports Stadium. Amini. Madananga. We'll do the basic thing. Not overcomplicate stuff. Nyawa, good win. And Dynamo's breakaway once again on the right flank. July coming to add the numbers. Mudadi, forward thinking, onward they are. July across. And Chikona could not just wrap his whole foot around that ball. Whenever Dynamos are making a raid from that far side, they always promise fireworks. But Ngezi, to their credit, have been resolute. Ngezi. To their credit, a really been reading the movements well on that far side. And just been ready as expected. Restarts. 
chikweda. Great connection. Tigu. Madananga. Madake in unfamiliar centre back territory. <laughs> Tuck back, Shigrida. Madananga will push it forward. Beautiful touch. Gaki plays it to Marimba. And the big man of the rear of the Dynamo's defense, Makarati, saves the situation. Murimba, beautiful turn from the Zimbabwe Youth International. And he has a chance, Chikona. But read very well, intelligent, backheader by Chigrida. One of the fans of the season, if you ask me, for Madame Buru. Mapoka, a little too much from the center forward. But he wins, he wins the throw. That's a good thing. And Madaki will take his time to come and take it. Because he knows that if it ends like this, they will have managed to ease Dynamo's pressure on them. Mapoka. Hit by Nyawa. <laughs> and they're going to afford to laugh about it. That's something that's nice, isn't it? And Amini fancying his chances from the near side. Remember, he carries a cultured left foot. And right now, he would want to curl it towards Cole. Not only the technique, but the power as well he possesses. There it is. But equally made by Nyawa. Amini plays it short. Mukumba onto the far side. Does Mapoka have the legs to carry? Yes, there he has. Lovely touch. Shot from Badananga. Yeah, looks like he's been watching too much of the currently underway World Cup rugby. Hurst France knocked out by our neighbors from south of the Limpopo, South Africa. Exciting match played last Saturday night. That's in the Rugby World Cup. But right now, we've got this intriguing fixture taking place here at the National Sports Stadium. Dynamo's hosting the current log leaders, Ngezi Platinum Stars. Murimba running after that, but Tafiri Mutsa. Keeping things tidy. Long searching ball, Mudadi. Gets his head to it, but not keeping it in play. And the twilight stages of the uh, first half we are. Still no all between these two exciting sides of 2023. Referee alleging that Chikona probably used a bit of unfair means to gain possession there. Chikwida, low ball in midfield. Makunike wins it. Mudadi, so confident he is all the time. Makarati plays it onto the far side, finding July. Always exciting things whenever Dana was coming from that flank. But Ngezi do well. Gaki retains possession for Madamburu. Amini, who played forward, Makarati will clear. Madaki, great technique. 
well complimented by Amini Mukumba, one of the Mukumba, of course, one of the big challenges for the soccer star of the year. He's really been doing well for Madame Buro. Clearance by Makunike. Well connected by Mladi. Loved it in. But read very, very well by Nelson Chajka. It's a big chase. Tully tucks it in. Makarati. Will the cross come? He'll lay it on for. July, good little, neat little touches from Dynamos. She kind of couldn't pull the trigger. Mudadi. It's chance after chance for Dimbari. But it's block after block from Ngezi Platinum Stars. My oh my. Chigwida. Towering figure at the back, Fongezi, Makunike, anywhere will do. Madananga, Makumba, Tafire Mutsa, rescues Dimbare, Mpofu, Chintuli, lovely turn, lovely lay on, Makunike. Round about turn. They always want to make their attacks come through from that right flank. Timbana now with a great chance to corner! He's arguably Dynamo's find of the season. He's arguably Zimbabwe's finest attacker at the moment. And finally, Dimbare break the deadlock from their favorite right side. Calmly set up. Makarati to July. Then the cross from Madeira. And Chikona tucks it in. I don't know how many times they have rehearsed that move at trading. And finally... Finally, Genesis Kakamangombe is smiling. Dynamo's won. Ngezi Platinum Stars nil. Now we've got a game on our cards. A real big encounter we are destined for. Dynamo's fans have burst into the Siena and I Dimbare song on the far side. Madame Buddha will say, we want to consolidate our position at top. And now they're going to be throwing everything at Dimbare. Mudadi. Oh, he's a darling, isn't he? Madeira. Chikona. I just love the way he executes his moves, young Chikona. And there, the referee has blown for half time. Dynamo's leading by a goal to nil this encounter. We'll meet you in the next 45 minutes.
Welcome back to the National Sports Stadium. Dynamo's playing against Tangezi Platinum Stars as we went for the break. Dynamo's leading by a goal to nil. And uh, Ngezi would want to make sure that they restore parity. They've brought in Leslie Castigo in the jersey number five. And also they've brought on Takunda Benura, jersey number 20, in place of the centre forward, Cloud Mapoka. Marimba slips as he tries to connect that one. Benura immediately wanting to make his intentions known. Benura. Great connection. Oh, he's got loads of energy. Beats one. Benura still. Oh, the dipping shot was marvelous. But just could not be able to get to be the goalkeeper. It's a very clever shot. Beautiful turn. Drop of shoulder. He really has infused a sense of en urgency in this uh, Madamburo attack. Let's see if he can be able to keep on with the tempo. Madake, quick throw on the far side. Gaki. Chakona wins that one for Dimbare. Labiseta Mudani, let's go! What a rip! And what a catch! Quality snapshot from Mudadi. It has come out to be one of his trademarks. And Nelson Chajga just shows why he is one of the best goal minders in the country. By reacting so swiftly and perfectly to that situation. Corner kick for Dynamo's Dimbari. Mpofu to take it on the near side. The corner comes. Oh, what a beautiful catch from Chajga. And Benura now. Kadura in. Tries to kill one through to Marimba, but not to fruition. Dynamos again playing the nice, neat little touches. Beautiful turn, Madeira. Chikona clipped. Elton Chikona, he's such a marvel, isn't he? He's such a fantastic young lad. Mudadi. Again, he beams with loads of confidence. You know, the way he just controls that midfield for Dimbare is so reassuring. And now he's come through to be this... Standard situation executor. There it is. The header will come. And it's a goal. Madeira. An unlikely source for a goal for Dimbare through the head. Oh my word. Late. In the first half, Dynamo's get a goal. Early in the second half, Dynamo's get yet another goal. Madeira turned from manufacturer to goal getter. 
Down to my stew. Ngezi Platinum Stars nil. Sangezi so now get to resume. It's a tall order for the Mashonland West outfit. Kastigu, Benura, Gaki, Benura, Moyo, a yellow card for the goal scorer. Amini Lofsen, Tafire Mutsa catches. Not so cleanly, but still does the job. Chajga. Initiating an attack. Would like to really see how Texho Chiragui reacts to the situation. Amini, the intended recipient of that ball. Madeira. Moyo. Castigu. Chiguida. Beautiful low pass. Lovely touch. Amini. There's the gangling figure of Makarati to deal with. And Madeira goes down. So Madeira has to get some uh, assistance from the medics. Also, yellow card for Dynamo's coach, Genesis Mangombe. Looks like they're carrying on remonstrating with the referee. And so now Gaki comes off from Gezi Platinum, and on now is Mandinyenya. Oh, Tapua Mandinyanya is carrying a hamstring injury, but looks like he's just forced himself because of the dire situation that Madamburo are in. You can even tell the way he's running. He's dragging his right leg. Well, I would have always thought that without Mandinyanya, Ngezi will struggle. Oh! Makunike with a block. Kastigu with a lay on.
फ्री किक Madaki getting ready to come up with a free kick for Dimba for Ngezi. There it is. It's a good header. Great attempt that comes through there. Well, I must say Benura ever since he came on has been showing some oomph. He's really been exuding a lot of zeal in everything that he's been doing. It's an element that seemed not evident within the uh, Madamburu outfit in most parts of the first half. Now let's get to see how they can be able to come and react this 2-0 deficit that they're currently under. Mandinyenya comes all the way back to assist with the defensive duties. Nice little touches by Madamburu. Chajga beaten twice already this Still is Chigwida looking for more grey shirts to assist. It looks like the blue ones are marauding. Dynamo's employing a very effective high press system. And Benura Moremba! Let's rip, but it's not on target. Ngezi always tends to do well. Their power play comes so much to fruition whenever they are having Mandinyenya orchestrating things on that right flank. Ameni. Good win there by Castigo. Mandinyenya in possession now. Beats one man. You can see he's dragging his injured hand. And Madaburo half Dynamo's lead. And it's none other than Benura. The man who's been showing a lot of zest within this Ngezi Platinum Stars team. Well, Ngezi, they've got light. And they're seeing it at the end of the tunnel. 2-1, Dynamo's in the lead. It's game on. Amini. Chikona and Madananga in a tussle. Chikona takes the tumble and is made to eat the humble pie. Chigwida looking for options. Marimba, now hard working. Now he's he's alive. Beautiful touch there. Suddenly, Ngezi Platinum Stars are alive. at half time and conceded immediately after that change and we thought they were down and really out but looks like they've reacted well Madeira Oh, he's really a menace inside this uh, Ngezi Platinum defense. Kadi leaves it for Madaki. Throw for Madamburu. Madananga. Amini. 
throw for Ngezi Platinum Stars. Madake. One of the most technically gifted players in the local scene, Madake. Comfortable both on the left and the right leg. There he is. With his right heel. Sent one through. Ah, oh, Mandy Nyanya lurking on that far side. With a terrible hamstring injury to deal with. Not yet fully recovered. But for the platinum cause. But for the Madamburo cause. But for the Ngezi cause. Is on the pitch and not only doing the work within the 70 by 100 meter markings, but also doing the uh, ball boy duties as well, Mandinyang. Dynamos will make a change. Chintilly will make way for Zivocha. Or rather subdued Chintilly, I must say. I think the fact that he had to also tuck in deep and assist in midfield duties, kind of like restricted. His pro is up front and not much was seen of him, but was there to pluck the little holes that are being left whenever Madari was going forward. So now let's get to see how Ziocha will be able to execute these duties. Called upon to make an aerial tussle, which he doesn't win. Well, Dynamos have made the footballs disappear. And that's the reason why the referee has come through and said, come on, can you please make the footballs reappear? Because you can only see one, the one that's being played. The other nine cannot be seen at all. The ball boys are standing at Akimbo. They're just having fun in the sun. The flick is on by Kaderimin, but the compliment is not to fruition. One of those rare occasions you see Prince Tafira Mutsa being beaten, but yes, he was beaten. throw for Dynamis on the near side. Halfway inside. Ngezi Platinum's half. I mean, we'll hook forward. Benura, the hard-working center forward. Pofu, Leon, Murimba, but Dynamos will win it back. Beautiful Leon by Zorcha. Good call, good calls for a penalty there, but not given. Mtigu for Amini with the unfamiliar right foot. But still gets the job done. Tigu doesn't latch on to that one well. And Dynamos will say thank you. Dynamos still leading by two goals to one. 
Chikona opening up the scoring for Dimbare. They doubled it through Madeira early in the second half. Moments later, we then did see Benura come through and have Dynamo's lead. So let's see if Dynamo's can hold on or probably just add a third. Or will it be Madame Buro to get an equalizer and possible snatch a victory from the jaws of defeat? It's a big one. Madananga. Benura. Mandinyanya. Kadi with a run. Well, the Dynamo's vice captain, July, will take all the time in the world. The ball boys, in a subdued performance this afternoon, because obviously the home team is leading. Chikona, audacious little back heel there. Carter in against July. And July concedes a corner. It's got to be a corner for Madame Buru. Mandinyanya has infused a sense of belief ever since he came on for Ngezi Platinum. Dynamo's bringing everybody back to defend. Amini. Shot! Ah, oh, Tafira Mutsa had all eyes on the ball. And the quick reflexes and reactions like a cat. To parry that one initially. And then cusp it on the second. Makarati clears for Dimbare. Benura, tuck back to Moyo. Tafire Mutsa will catch. Manang. Madananga clears. Mandinyanya loses that arrow tussle to Mpofu. Ziwacha. But it's taken now by Madamburo. Snatched away by Mudadi. He's so, so good as that. Laying it on for Madera. Madera with a cross. And it's the long legs of the gangling Chiguida that will save that cross from getting into the penalty box. Corner for Dynamos. And Madeira will go down. He's injured. Substitution will take place. Out goes Chikona. In comes Paga. Like for like, if you ask me, centre forward for centre forward. Power centre forward for power centre forward. But of course, it's the qualities in Chikona that make him a little bit ahead of the Ghanaian import, if you ask me. But of course, the wealth of experience of 
Paga will obviously come in handy in a situation like this where you're leading by two goals to one. You need someone who's been there, done that, seen that, to be able to carry the day and make sure that you keep it that way. And also for Dynamos, another substitution. In comes Sadiki. Out goes the enterprising and goal scorer of Dynamos, second Madeira, who's done very well, I must say, on that right flank for Dynamos. Sadiki. Left footer. Chance for Timbara there. Ball bubbles around the penalty, the goal area. And no one executes. Oh, July reads that move very, very well. Chiguida. Guess he survived that scare. Madananga. Moyo, back to Chiguida. Making a foray up front over the halfway line. It's a ball destined for a mini, but he didn't read that all too well. And Tafire Mutsa. <laughs> Abel Argyle, goalkeeper, he is. He has to also do the ball boy duties. So it's nice when you're leading. You can do all kinds of everything and anything. Tefre Muta gets ready. To restart after munching about two or so minutes whilst picking up the ball. Madananga. 100% win in his aerial tassels this afternoon. Madananga. Mandinyanya. Hoofing forward. Well, Delic, he's got a great chance here. Plays it to Kadi. Kadi with a cross. A header. Chance and Delic. How did he miss? that it's a glorious opportunity it was a wonderful setup renowned center forward Delic Burimba just could not be able to at least hit the target on that one. Yes, it was a tight angle, but surely, surely, falling onto his favorite right leg. How did he sway that one for the side netting? I wonder. I really, really wonder. I'm sure the Ngezi faithful are just pinching themselves right now. How does it happen like that? And in the meantime, there's a Dynamo's player down. Looks like it's Nyawa. Oh no, it's Mpofu who is down, writhing in agony. The medics have done their work and he's up and about. In the meantime, we keep you abreast with what's taking place at Ngezi's home ground, Baobab Stadium. Well, it's 2 all between uh, Simba Bora and uh, Caps United. Simba opening the scoring. 
through regular scorer Tinashe Balakazi, Caps United equalizing and then taking the lead. But then now, Chinyenge Terewi here was on target. And also Joseph Tulani. But now we hear that Simba Bora have equalized. So it's Simba Bora 2, Caps United 2 at this point in time. Let's see if we can get a second goal in this particular game as well. For Ngezi. Or a fourth goal, so to speak. And maybe Dynamo also extend their lead. Watcher. Beautiful touch, Sadiki. Jelai. Oh, you wanted to be so clever there. And he ties the clip in the heels. <laughs> Makunike. Being literally carried off the ball there by Benura. Oh. Uh, So much to remind us, so many actions to just replicate what's been taking place at the Rugby World Cup. Sadiki beats one man. And Gezi played long forward. July will just get the tip of his boot to that and assist and thwart by Madame Buru. Benura, chief of the Ngezi Platinum Resurgence, Madake. Great technique, chance! The court offside. Court offside. Prince Dafide Muta. Madananga. Plays a long one looking for Benura. It's a corner. Last touch was by Makarati. Amini, knowing very well that every minute will count. Dynamos have drawn everybody to come back and defend. Chance! And Tafire Mutsa's acrobatic actions once again keep Dynamos in this game. My oh my! My, oh my, that man in all yellow has produced, I don't know if it's going to be a match-winning performance for Dimbari today. Mudadi. Trying to find Paga. And here is Amini. Nyawa. Makunike. Mudadi. Danmus again with a nice, neat little touches. So beautiful to the eye. So glorious to the side. And the cross will come in. Chigwida will clear. Makarati. Delic Marimba. Beats his opponent. But can't get the cross in. Well, it's a wealth of experience of Moyo. That assists Dynamo's. To stop that move from Gezi Platinum Stars. Each and every time Madame Buro are making 
a foray into the Dynamo's defence. It's causing pandemonium. Well, right now, Dynamo's are going to be doing their final changes of the afternoon. Fourth substitution. In comes Junyai. And out goes Makunike. And then also up front, we are going to be seeing Mudadi take a rest. And it's going to be D time. It's going to be Denver time. Well, Mudadi has received another yellow card. It's a red card. And so sadly, what it then means is that Dynamo to play. No. And... And what does it mean? Does it mean Junyai doesn't go in? Oh, it's a, oh no! So Dynamos had made a move thinking that they're going to solidify the back and rest a player. Oh, okay. Now he's been allowed to come in. <laughs> At least he's been allowed to come in. So Dynamos will still play with 11 men, but the red card on... Mudadi, who is certainly dampen or put a huge dent on his aspirations to be a soccer star of the year. Well, news coming from Mondoro is that Caps United have regained the lead. Sarupinda scoring for the Green Machine. So it's now three goals to two against Simba Bora. Here at the National Sports Stadium, it's still two goals to one. Little flick. Coming through from Paga. Madake. Sadiki. Denver. Mundikumbuke Mkamba. Just telling everybody that you got to remember me. Mundikumbuke, you got to remember me. I am that Denver. The one who used to love. I am that Denver. The one you used to adore. I am that Denver who still has got it. What a touch. Mkamba. Still toying with his opponent, Mkamba. Ziwacha, all the way back to Prince Tafiremutsa, who will not want to play around with possession. Paga, the hard-running Ghanaian, can't get to the end of that one. Dynamos employing a high press. And sometimes it looks like it's been yielding. They're forcing the Ngezi Platinum rear to not pass perfectly.
Well, Dynamo swing back, July being attended to. Or July still being attended to by the medical team. Long ball by Makarati, clearance by Madake, Ziocha, Elson Mwea, the substitute. On to the far side, but Mandinyenya doesn't get to connect well. Mandinyenya, 360 degree turn, finding a fellow substitute, Mweha, but Madanganga will assist another quick turn, Chiguida, Murimba creating space for himself on the far side, the cross will come, it's inviting, and... It just sums up the afternoon for Ngezi, isn't, doesn't it? Very unlucky. In other situations, the ball just fall fortuitously for the Mbare, born and bred Mandinyanya, but very unfortunate in this situation. Again, another aerial win by Madananga. Mandinyanya, beautiful touch, finding Elson Mweha. Mweha can't retain possession. Denver, Mukamba, onto the near side, finding Sadiki. One little lollipop, two lollipops. Third lollipop. No chance for a fourth. Paga! Madananga will carry. Chiquida sets it up for Moyo, his partner in the heart of the Ngezi defense. Benura, the goal scorer. And Ngezi know they need to have loads of urgency. Five more minutes of time added on by the referee. Mandinyenya inviting low ball into the box. Little double touches by Benura. Madananga need the little touch. Madake gets the return. Chigwida, Madake with a beautiful craft turn in the air on the turn. Mweha. Ngezi, a patient in their build-up. Benura, back to the flank. Can the cross come? Yes, it does. Double-fisted parry there. Cross will come and again, Jinyai to the rescue for Dimbare. Well, it's not done as yet. The grey-shirted men are marauding. Mandinyanya, Prince Tafiremutsa, 
should just convert his name to be the king now. Because his performance is fit for the highest enclan of royalty. He's really been a marvel in between the sticks for Dynamo Zimbabwe. What a great chance for the Ghanaian. <laughs> Breakdown in communication between Chajga and Chigrida there. So nearly benefiting the 60-year-old Dynamos. Mukamba, little flick. No addressee. Nyawa blocks. Mundi Kumbuke. Beaten to that one. Madananga. Beautiful touch. Madake. Good complimentary header. Onto the far side. Mandi Nyanya. And the aerial prowess of Makarati getting Dynamos to survive once again. Mandinyenya with a cross. And it's yet another corner. Huge efforts from Gezi. Last throws of the dice by the current log leaders. They will still lead Dynamos by eight. Even if they lose this game. But they know Dynamos have got a game in hand. Madananga fighting tooth and nail. And has been an outstanding general in the midfield battles. Last touch was by the grey shirt at Chigwida. So we're in the twilight stages of this encounter. Dynamo's leading by two goals to one against uh, Ngezi Platinum Stars. Could this be the game that will see Dimbare cut Platinum's lead to just eight points? July, long searching ball. Paga, head down. Ziwocha, lay on. Paga, offside. And surely this could be the last throw of the dice. And that's it. Dynamus win by two goals to one. And it revives Dynamus' hopes of clinching the 2023 Castle Lager Premiership. And of course, it will be a fantastic way to celebrate 60 years of existence, having been formed in 1963. Let's hear what the coaches have had to say.